Hello everyone, welcome to another day of the Daily Bug Bunny Challenge. I'm very glad to see you in here. Today we're going to continue the progress, continue the follow that I, I'm, I, I'm going to follow from, the, from this book, Bug Bunny Bootcamp, and I think it's a very cool book and very helpful to have a structured to have a structured flow and I think it's cool. Let's review what we do in the previous and uh, in, in 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 the two LBL day. The day 30 we're going to do application mapping. Application mapping. So for now, I've got, the, I, I've got an idea. What is that? Let's try to write down this methodology as a valid, as a new methodology that we going to complete it together. And I think it's very cool. I'm going to pause the video and going to set up the GitHub repository for that and I'm going to continue and we're going to fill and write the methodology till now that we're going to done. Thank you for now. So after doing some write down some notes and for now I'm going to share you some notes about the next phase of the methodology and before that I'm going to share you the methodology here that I will write for now and I'm going to share with you and, and I put this on the GitHub repository and I'm going to put in the video description. I hope you enjoy till use this tool. So let's get on the desktop. Okay, for now, let's check everything is cool. Okay, before continuing with this day, let's get to the methodology. As you can see, I, I, we trying to develop a methodology that is, that I think have two phase web app methodology and a mobile app methodology for Android or, or iOS, something like this. It's too many big. Okay. The web app methodology have some steps. The very first step is the reconnaissance. And in the reconnaissance, we have application mapping that we're doing the Manually watching through the target in meanwhile, we trying to run the verb suit in the background and enable the reflector and JSON finder verb extension. And then I put the, the, those links in the document. After that, you should act like a normal user that trying to explore all the functionalities like all the plans all the type of users and with all the how can i tell that explanation that those users have after that As you can see here, we're trying to do Docker. And I, I put some pillows of the Docker in here. You can add your own, even you can try to commit. And I'm going to add in this file and in this globe. Now, for today, I think after some days, we're going to complete this methodology because today we're going to continue the 
preconceived and I think these 30 days I feel not that much I should do but in the in the future from now on I'm going to complete the recon phase with this with this kind of notes that is very important. How's that? Let's check this one. For today, we're going to learn about the scope discovery. First main step. First main step on the recon is the scope discovery. It's very huge and we should do very jobs in this phase. Let's see what is the scope. And we can remember when we're trying to check and find out the all assets of the target, we see the frame, we see the word of the scope. In a scope, out of scope. And comes that specifies which subdomains, domains, products, plots, right, products. Okay, and overall, which assets allows to add? Once we have verified all the assets, the main focus is trying to find all domains, subdomains, IPs, and trying to find which company is the organization hosting of these assets. This is what we're going to do in the very first step of the methodology of the web app hunting in the part bond. And the first step is doing a quiz and reverse quiz. Let's talk about the quiz concept. So let's talk about the who is and reverse quiz. Companies and or individuals while register domain name, they should supply identification information like name, like address, mailing address, and phone number and email address and so anyone can query this information with the who is command, which search for the owner information of owners that sorry, let's like this. Owners information of the dummy. This information can be um, unavailable while use a dummy privacy service, a third party service comes and replace information user information via a forwarding service let's check this this tool to apply the hunting process doing the reverse is so how we can tell do this let's get in here and we can use this target is a uh, web application let's check for there okay when we hit the lookup we can see the who is information for this domain and we can see this kind of information. But what if we're going to see the takeaway file? Oh, as you can see, this redacted hole is applied in here. And all the who is reverse quiz we do this 
Where is that? Okay. Redo this. Fade. Error. Okay. When we hit the tape array, we can find a bunch of domains that we think it's belong to the takeaway company and we as you can see it's very help. And that's it for today. I have I hope this be helpful and I'm going to push this to file to be let's click in here. And Okay, I'm going to push these and these documents on the GitHub repository, and after that, I'm going to put the links of the methodology, so this methodology, and although I'm going to add the third step, which means this one. In the methodology after that i'm going to pull push and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question you can ask me if you have any idea you can contribute to the video and that's it. i hope everything goes well i see you tomorrow but in the live tomorrow sunday and instead of this video i'm going to go on the weekly live by one.